The new one is a savory Filipino stew made of pork offal. <laughs> yeah, it comes with intestines. Mm. All right, all right, all right. What's up, Philippines? Welcome back to another reaction video with your host, Nelly. So happy to see your smiling faces out there. Today is a rainy day, so you know what that means? Exactly. We're doing reaction videos. Today I am reacting to, wow, top five most viewed foreigner reacts to Filipino food for the year. Reactions to food in the Philippines. <laughs> so without further ado, let's do this. Prepare your taste buds because we're about to set them salivating with five most watched dishes of the year. Thank you for all the viewers. If you are not a subscriber yet, <laughs> please click the subscribe button and hit the faces, notification yeah. bell. Dina Guan, often no, known as one. blood stew or chocolate meat. These robot voices. But hey, 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 me as a foreigner, when I visited the Philippines for the first time, I couldn't pronounce it properly as well, so, okay is a gastronomic masterpiece that combines the Philippines' culinary traditions with its colonial past. Interesting. Mm. For those out there who don't know what it is, it's blood stew. It's pork blood. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Prepare your taste okay. buds for an unforgettable trip. Dinu Guan is good in my book. Even with the- We'll learn the secrets of its distinctive preparation. <laughs> be too salty for you. Yeah. Mm, let's eat it with some rice. As well as the yeah, cultural importance. That has made it a popular Filipino comfort dish. I wonder if they're all like the same type of intestines. <laughs> It's good. The new one is a savory Filipino stew made of pork offal, such as lungs, kidneys, Ooh. intestines, ears, <laughs> heart, and snout. Super. Something that I have to say about this dish is, I mentioned it many times here on the channel, but something that Filipinos are very good at is use all pieces of the animal. In this case, you can see it's like all of the meat that we Westerners usually don't buy. There's no waste. When an animal is sacrificed for our own good, it is used accordingly. It's super like, jelly. The feels nice and tender. Oh man, I just got a piece of the pork with the fat on it. So juicy. It's so good. As well as meat cooked in a thick, spicy, dark gravy of pig blood, garlic, yep. chili, most commonly sealing haba, and vinegar. Kinilao is a popular pollutant. All right, so I do have to say it has a very strong, like, iron-ish flavor, metallic flavor. Not really metallic, but like, you know, blood. Blood has a lot of iron, so it's not my favorite, I must say. I'm very honest with you guys, but the next dish, Kinilo, is one of my favorites. The Philippines. And it's all about Super the healthy. ideal balance of fresh ingredients, a yeah. tangy marinade, fresh. and a blast of flavors that will leave you wanting more. Mmm, let me go. Master up. If you've been an avid fan of this meal for a long time, <coughs> Brett Maverick and Kulas, or are new to its delight. These are two vloggers in the Philippines that are very popular. The OGs. The chilies light your mouth up. Myself. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it's super okay. spicy. The tuna. Oh, oh my it's god. So good. Kenny Lau is a raw oh, seafood so dish and method of preparation native to the Philippines because of its resemblance mm. to the Latin American dish ceviche. It is sometimes yeah. known as Philippine ceviche. This is the best yep. seafood dish that I have ever had and I hope you guys join me this year in treating yourself to a delicious ceviche. Ceviche is delicious. Some of the oldest so surviving Kinilao variants are from the southern Visayas and northern Mindanao. Like Cagayan de Oro's Kinilao, sometimes stylized as Kinilao de Oro yeah. and Dumaguetus Binacao. You really see it. <laughs> oh man, this robot like voice it. is killing me. Bangus Kinilao. I like it, the meat has good texture. If you haven't had adobo yet, you're Ooh, in for a Ooh, yes, tremendous adobo. Treat. That is Today, the number one thing to try. We're going to dive into the delightful world it's of Filipino very... food with one of its most beloved dishes adobo. Look at that. Yum. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah. It is more than just a dish. It's a culinary heritage. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> a I dance think I of spices that make it a favorite. 
I reacted to a video about Joshua Weissman preparing adobo. It will probably pop up here or at the end of the video. We'll see. If you make it to the end of the video, it will be there. Locals and foreigners alike. Pretty good. <laughs> Uncover its secrets and share the ultimate adobo experience with you. Yeah. It also has like this slightly acidic taste. Bless him, bless him, bless him. And then it's just like the a less common variety that just utilizes like caramelized. salt mm. instead of soy sauce. Yeah. In contrast to black adobo, which is more common, white adobo is frequently recognized as the most authentic rendition of prehistoric adobo. Yum. Oh yes. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Very it's nice. really tasteful and nice. Aside from the dish itself. The flavor of adobo has been commercially produced and applied to other dishes. Several yeah. local Philippine snack items, including cornix, nuts, Yum. chips, noodle soups, and corn oh, crackers, are marketed as adobo flavored. These are pretty damn nice. There's a story that's been yeah. sizzling for generations in the heart of the Philippines where flavors come to life. It's a story about culture, tradition, mm. and the seductive I'm some barbecue of right Filipino now. barbecue. Woo! One of the best fishes I've had in the Philippines, hands down. Yeah. Boom, boom, two up, none down. Ah, Join us as we explore the delicious flavors. Mm, yeah, oh best God. is if you dip it wow. into the vinegar. Again, with the most tender yeah. meat. Oh my goodness. And inspiring yeah, tail. It's so caramelized on the outside. Barbecue. If you like something and it's delicious, you say masarap. Can you say masarap? Masarap. 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 <laughs> Every bite is a flavor explosion. The tender, that is really perfectly good. charred meat mixed with the mouth watering marinade is a symphony for your taste buds. But it's not it? just about the food, Sweet. it's also about the environment. Families, friends, and even tourists converge yeah. to enjoy the delights of Filipino barbecue. And capturing their reactions will make you salivate. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, you can taste that char taste. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, this is definitely like yeah. barbecue. Hearing these mm. enthusiastic mm. response, it's evident that Filipino barbecue has a particular place in the hearts and palates of many people. Not just locals, course, but also like others who are discovering dish. it for the first time. Sisig mm. is a Filipino meal yeah. comprised of pork Sisig. jowls. Sisig is also one of those dishes that just uses some parts of the animal. In this case, the pig face, which makes a really delicious dish. I mean, it's very hearty, very heavy, oily, but with some rice. Pretty good. Pork belly and chicken liver that is generally seasoned with calamansi, onions, and chili peppers. It comes calamansi. from the Pampanga region of Luzon. Sisig is a mainstay of Kapampangan <laughs> cuisine. Pampanga. The city administration of Angeles, Pampanga, declared sizzling sisig babio or pork sisig as a tangible heritage of Angeles city. Mm, sure. Fun fact, I went to Angeles City to visit the OG spot for Sisig. And even Anthony Bourdain dined there. It was pretty good. Long time ago. Yep. Yeah. Not crunchy pork pieces. Hauling yeah. loosing rows to prominence loosing. Yep. after grilling the pig's ears. Was there. And adding the cheeks to meat increased demand. A recipe she learned from the next door stall owner in Crossing, Ricardo Bopping Kadok Dinio. According to the Philippine Department of Tourism, Veraling Lusing's restaurant established Angeles as the ceasing capital Angeles. of the Philippines. Yeah. In 1974. There's always a capital of something in the Philippines. Hugh Nanan's signature sisig was created in the mid 1970s mm. when she served grilled and chopped pig ears and cheeks seasoned with vinegar, calamansi juice, yeah, it has like this chopped chewy onions, texture. and chicken liver on hot plates. Soft. Night in Metro Manila, and I'm ready for my favorite Filipino street food. Possibly the best thing you could ever eat with a cold beer. As we wrap up this incredible year, I want to express my sincerest gratitude to each and every one of you. <laughs> Your support, comments, and enthusiasm have made this year truly special. Let's carry the lessons we've learned and the memories we've made 
Remember, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Wishing you a fantastic new year. Oh, okay, New Year's video. All right, this AI channel has some uh, very deep feelings about Filipino food, right? Let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below and which one this channel missed out on. I definitely agree with the Kenny Lord and the Filipino barbecue is just one of the best, really. It's just like, the barbecue is just, like, it has this sweet, sticky, charred flavor and it's just like, the smokiness of it is just, whew, it's so good, it's so, so good. Good. Definitely give it a try on your Philippines visit. If you want to start with Filipino cuisine, definitely try adobo. And if you are a little bit more adventurous, go for the dinuguan or the sisig. That was it for today. Subscribe to my other channel, Nelly's Life, where I share some travels and life of mine. And that was it. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the content. Hit the notification bell to get notified for the next video. And also, please feel free to send me a message on Instagram if you want to suggest some videos for this channel to react. So that was it. I'll see you guys next time here on What's Up Philippines!